during my experiments to make a long wave radio. Super heterodyne, by the way, it works completely. And I will give a demo. As far as I could see, I could receive uh, yesterday Algeria, Poland, and BBC4. But around, say, 12 o'clock in the night, anyway. Uh, I found that I had no oscillator that worked on 198 kilo cycles. And that is exactly the frequency where BBC4 on long wave um, sends out its transmissions. So, all these oscillators here didn't work. And I made quite a few of them, by the way. But especially that 198 kilo cycles uh, was not on the scale. Very, very strange, but anyway. So I decided to make uh, a long wave uh, radio oscillator, test oscillator, with which you can con to which you can connect all kinds of long wave radio coils. And it is here. And this is how it was made. This is a test coil at the moment. Forget the 100 picofarad capacitor, it's not related, I mean not connected parallel to the coil. And you can see here quite a few of hundreds of windings and you can take out the ferrite rod here. And then you see of course on your scope, this is the scope, take the rod out now. We go to a very much higher frequency. 309 kilohertz. That's the highest frequency with this oscillator. 309 approximately. Push the rod in. We are on 106 kilohertz. But when I bridge the oscillator coil with a capacitor of 100 picofarad, that's here. Here we go to 98 kilohertz. Small problem is that there is a kind of blurb visible in the waveform, but for test purposes, when you want to test coils, see uh, uh, whether their Q, their quality factor is okay, or whether they want to oscillate or not. Discriminate bad coils from good coils. Uh, bad coils sometimes have strange sine wave like waveforms, so not a pure sine wave. But you can say calculate in here the fact that there is that bubble. But uh, when we take the core out, just go to higher frequencies, it's gone. Let's look. So, I think this waveform is good enough for test purposes. Testing coils, etc. etc. So, what can you do with such a circuit? Um, at first, test coils, whether they oscillate here in this uh, long on these long wave frequencies. You can also discriminate bad coils and good coils. And with bad, I don't make mean uh, that they are bad, but their properties in, in terms of electronics or radio tech could be, say, not good enough to be used. For instance, this one here, made with many windings with a good quality fierce uh, ferrite rod, is, say, a kind of ideal combination for an oscillator, but also as an antenna coil. But when you have, for instance, these coils, I name them measurement coils, and here you see all of them. You can buy them everywhere, on Ali, etc., etc. They work good, by the way, but 
the quality factor of these coils, for instance, here, these ones, it could be, and I say could be, that it is not good enough to be used as an antenna coil. But, on the other hand, you can also buy all these coils here, say, these ones here, with a ferrite core, their Q, their quality factor is in general higher. And you can also wind yourself long wave radio coils, medium wave radio coils, etc. etc. So that was more or less all to tell. Don't want to make the video too long. Show the schematic again. Thanks for watching. The circuit resembles an earlier circuit. And perhaps I will give the link only say tiny change is that I've used here a switch with which I can switch a small value capacitor 150 picofarad or 270 picofarad from the collector to the base and in the earlier circuit that was not the case and here you can see that switch the blue knob and here the cap 150 picofarad and here 270 picofarad and it can help when testing coils and of course here we set the oscillation I made it in such a way that approximately in the middle of the potentiometer the circuit will oscillate thanks for watching